welcome back to another video so today we are back and today is actually my one year anniversary on youtube so if you did not know exactly one year ago on this day september 11th i posted my first ever video which was the 9-11 uh, 20th anniversary tribute sadly i wasn't able to make a 9-11 video this year since i didn't have people to help me out but I will make more tributes in the future, such as Remembrance Day and Police Week and what n not. But so today is my one year anniversary, so I can't believe it's already been one year since I started YouTube. It feels like I started making YouTube videos just last month. And we also hit 400 subscribers. So thank you everybody so much for 400 subscribers. I never thought this day would come uh, where I would have 400 subscribers on YouTube. I also cannot uh, talk uh, and tell you guys how thankful I am to reach 400 subscribers, but uh, it's a dream come true and hopefully we'll reach um, new milestones in the future years. But yeah, so as I promised in my recent videos, uh, I will be doing a 400 subscriber special where I reveal my setup. Now, I will be upgrading my setup, uh, but I will be keeping the same PC, so you will see the same graphics, but you'll see like a new keyboard, mouse, mouse pad, etc. for maybe the Christmas time, hopefully. But for now, I will be revealing my uh, gaming setup at the end of this video. But yeah, guys, so uh, today's my one year anniversary. I have 400 subscribers. Now, uh, of course, I will still do the setup reveal. You can go ahead and skip to the end of the video for that. But I will also talk about more plans for m the future of my channel. So, uh, I started my channel after my friend Wolfie Wolfie 2. You should go check him out. I think his new name is actually Mr. Pancakes. But yeah, he's the one who inspired me to start a YouTube channel. And he's actually the one who helped me with my first YouTube videos. Now, uh, uh, the September 11th video wasn't actually my first ever YouTube video. Before that, I used to be a Bloxburg YouTuber, and I used to make uh, cringy content with him, which was uh, a really fun time. But I deleted all those videos and did a new fresh start to my channel with uh, my new uh, gaming uh, PC and my new... Uh, and... Uh, my new like a recording crew and whatnot and then that's how I started this channel I did the 9-11 video and went viral I gained before I used to have only like 60 subscribers and I was stuck on 60 subscribers now this is a thing that I see with a lot of YouTube channels once a YouTube channel reaches 60 subscribers they just stop gaining subscribers unless if one of their videos goes viral so I know a couple of my classmate old classmates have that problem but when I did the 9-11 video, I finally surpassed six, 60 subscribers and I actually had 150 after that video, which was crazy. So th thank you to everybody who's been here for an entire year. But yeah, so after that, I started making like... At first, I wanted to make uh, just uh, ERLC cinematics. That's why my second ever video was the city of Ottawa. Because I was planning on... Uh, to just make cinematics and uh, like m my inspiration for that was Google Aviation Sadly he stopped making videos a couple. I think it's been a month now But he quit YouTube and all things related to your LC and because he wanted to start his own life And I understand that and I totally respect him But yeah, he was my inspiration then when I realized I couldn't just make c cinematics forever I started making videos, and then my first ever actual YouTube video was uh, the ERLC Classic Liveries. Uh, so basically, that video was me talking about how ERLC re-added the Classic Liveries. And I would say that video is clickbait, but I was, uh, uh, but what was in the thumbnail was also in the video. So basically, ERLC added the, a bunch of livery codes for the Classic Liveries that we used to have back in 2018, 2019. And that video now has 4,000 views. And I just kept on making ERLC videos such as uh, short update videos and whatnot. I didn't really do role plays back then because, like, I mean, plays once said, like, no, don't do role play videos if you're a small YouTuber because there's all these bigger role play YouTubers. 
but um, I don't watch him in his place anymore. Uh, and not be I don't know. I think his channel has changed a lot since what he used to be before, or he was like this YouTuber that actually did g the videos. Now he just makes like GFXs and. He even plays games that aren't here, I'll see sometimes, which is why I don't watch his videos anymore. But then, like, uh, I would say my roleplays are semi-successful, like, I mean, any video that gets over 20 views, I'm proud of, because before, like, it would be very common for my video to get less than 10 views. So, yeah, like, and now my videos are getting over 20 views on average, which I am so grateful for. But, yeah, so... Anyways, I think that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and do my setup reveal. Okay, guys, so here's my setup. Uh, by the way, sorry if the camera quality is bad. Uh, I'm recording this on my phone since I don't have an actual camera. But yeah, so here's the chair that I sit in. I think it's just a normal chair from Ikea. It's pretty comfortable, tall. It can spin. It has wheels. And then here's my main laptop, so I believe this is an HP laptop. Yes, it is. I'm not sure what model it is. My dad gave this to me for my birthday. And yeah, here's the headset. I don't really use this except for live streams, except I was testing out Roblox voice chat, and uh, I needed this for the voice chat to work. And then here I just have random lamp when it gets dark outside, uh, because, you know, I also play at nighttime. And then here's my mouse, so I'm not sure which mouse brand it is, but uh, I believe it's, I don't, I don't think it says it here, but it's a wireless mouse, which is cool, but sometimes it can get annoying because like it, when you turn it on, it just won't turn it on. Instead, there, there will be a red light flashing for a second, and sorry if the camera quality is horrible. And then, yeah, when you get, have to change the battery, it gets really annoying. And then this is my mouse pad. Uh, not really my favorite, but at least it works instead of scratching my table. And then here I just have some gaming stuff, my schedule. These are the earphones that I normally use for recording my videos. I have a bunch of stuff over here. And then just more random stuff in here. And yeah, so this is my gaming setup. There's not really a lot, except I did order a new keyboard, uh, and I might do a keyboard review, so that's gonna be cool. And then I might also get a new mouse and a new mouse pad, then like, I might get a stand for my laptop and it'll be higher up. But yeah, so that's gonna be really cool. Um, maybe I'll do a setup update during Christmas or whatnot. But yeah, anyway guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.